श्री लाल कृष्ण अडवाणी जी माननीय राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी प्रभात जी नंदकिशोर जी गोपाल जी आज इस समारोह में आए हुए सबरिक नागरिक बंधुगण बहनों और भाइयों कोई पीछे फोन पे बात कर रहे मेरा अनुरोध है उनसे थोड़ा सेल फोन को साइलेंट करिए फोन फिजिटी भी होता है कभी कभी न्यूसेंस भी होता है तो हम लोग बंदे कमरे में है ऑडिटोरियम में इसलिए आवाज बाहर आ रहा है कृपया थोड़ा सब लोग अपना सेल फोन एक बार देख के उसको साइलेंट मोड में रखिए किसी को साइलेंट मोड में रखना मालूम नहीं तो जो बगल में बैठे लोग उनको मदद करिए सम पीपल नो ओनली स्विच ऑन दे डू नॉट नो स्विच ऑफ फ्रेंड्स एज वी हैव द फॉर्चून ऑफ हैविंग अवर टॉलेस्ट लीडर आइडियोलॉजिकल मेंटर श्री लाल कृष्ण अडवाणी जी विथल्स आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू टेक मच ऑफ योर टाइम एंड वी आर ऑल्सो फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव और पार्टी प्रेसिडेंट श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी सो आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू डवेल एट लेंथ ऑन इश्यूज बिकॉज बोथ ऑफ देम आर गोइंग टू गाइड एस द पॉइंट विच एजिटेट्स मी ऑल द टाइम इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग टू द कंट्री वॉट इज हैपनिंग टू पॉलिटिक्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग टू द न्यू जनरेशन दट इज द इश्यू विच इज एजिटेटिंग द माइंड ऑफ द पीपल कैस्ट क्रीड रीजियन religion divisive tendencies they are all influencing the public life people thought by getting independence there will be total integration of the entire country people will think in the larger interest of the country and then even if there are some local issues there will be sub service to the national cause that's why we used to say nation first party next self last but you have seen in the recent years over the years the way people are exploiting the regional feelings people are exploiting the religious feelings people are exploiting the caste feelings people are exploiting the other weaknesses and then trying to dominate public life that is one worry dr shyam prasad mukherjee is from pashchim bengal but he went and uh, sacrificed his life for the sake of the unity and integrity of the country. country the sacrifice he has made is a great sacrifice there is a message in his sacrifice that one must live and die for the sake of the unity of the country that is the message why this because we are all are carried away on one side by these pacifist tendencies and the other side political parties also are thinking in short term leaving the long term interest of the country but unfortunately the party which has ruled the country for longer period from delhi to gandhi from parliament to panchayat from municipality to mukhyamantri all the posts were held by one single party for majority of the years more than 50 55 years and they this stuff in my being the culture and the heritage and also the sacrifices made by our great leaders and then present them before the country and generation and create an all india national integration mindset they themselves started pursuing vote bank politics and gave credibility to this vote bank politics and divisive tendencies that is one of the basic reasons today we are we are all uh, taking part in this uh, function to pay our tribute to this great soul great son of this great country the reason is that we have to learn so much from his life from his teachings from his preachings and then take the message forward and then implement it in our regular life that is the purpose but unfortunately the rulers who have ruled the country for maximum number of years they have not projected the values they have not projected the teachings and preachings of this great sons they have only projected they have only taken care to see that only one family and their leaders are only projected others are all ignored it took nearly 50 years to have a photo of dr baba saab ambedkar in parliament 
and we are, we are seeing, I don't want to criticize anybody at the same time, Sardar Vadabhai Patel, Dr. Sam Prasad Mukherjee, Chandra Shekhar Ayat, many Goparakshna Gokare, Baraganga Dar Tirak, you have stalwarts and you also have regional stalwarts. I had the fortune of accompanying Sri Advani Ji in the Swarna Jayanti Radhayatra, went around the country to visit uh, the birthplace of a great patriots who have laid down their life for the freedom of the country and for the unity and integrity of the country. Mujhe ho sabhag ke madhavu samay sabhida ko me desh bar me jake kai mahan bhavon ka janmastal dekhne ke liye unka ithiyas pura sunne ke liye samajne ke liye mujhe mohka mila. I was really inspired because comparatively being a young, I did not have that much understanding but an opportunity was provided to me. We went to deep north, deep south. We are upon the Kattabaman. Subramanya Bharati. In Tamil Nadu, Tangudur Prakasim Pantur in Andhra Pradesh, Narayana Guru, Basaveswar, national leaders and social reformers, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. But how many, how many memorials are there for these great sons across the country? We have, today we see even the streets are named after only one, one Parivar. The road, the park. The, any government building and the latest is all the schemes also, schemes of the government of India, they are named only to derive political mileage. Forgetting these great sons, the need of the hour is to remember these great sons and also the teach and preach to our younger generation about the teachings and preachings of great souls like Dr. Sam Prasad Mukherjee, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Subhash Chandra Bose, Goparakshna Gokare, Baranga Adar Tirak, Madhana Mohana Malavya, Chandra Shekhar Ajat. So many galaxy of leaders are there who have made their contribution for the public life and also for the freedom of the country. We should remember them. That is the real homage we have we pay to them. We should remember them and we should remember their teachings and preachings and then try to practice in our life and then pass on the same to our younger generation. Unfortunately, that is not happening. This should have been done by the government, successive governments. But as I told you, the focus is not on this net. Sardar Patel have unified the entire country, making 500 samsthanams to merge in India. He has done it, an iron man. He is the unifier of this Indian, this country. But unfortunately, enough importance is not given to him. I have no problem with regard to importance given to another parivar. There is no problem. They have their own contribution. But disproportionately, ignoring all the other important sons of this country, this effort is being made. One. The second is about uh, the life and history of these leaders. I feel that it is the time has come to see that all our children, in spite of uh, the competition, the education system and also the liberalization, privatization, globalization, LPG, which has now come to occupy and dominate the public life in the country, there is every need to have the life and teachings of our great leaders in our education system. Otherwise, our younger generation, they will not get proper inspiration and they will not get proper motivation to think about the larger interest of the country, unity of the country. That is the need of the hour. I only hope that efforts will be made in future to have lessons of uh, Dr. Sam Prasad Mukherjee because new generation, many of them do not know the amount of sacrifice he has made and the background of Kashmir issue and the, as I told you about the efforts made by Sardar Vallabhai Patel and then the efforts made by Subhash Chandra Bose. The new generation need to be taught about all these things and I feel that the respective government, state and central government, they should take lead and then see to it that these are all included in our educational curriculum so that our younger generation will have a fair knowledge about those things. Even today, if you see Bhagat Singh, if you see uh, Subhash Chandra Bose, even the cinema hall, all the children, they try to salute. That inspiration is there. And so, if they know the full contribution made by different great leaders, they will remember it and they will try to inculcate it. That is the need of the hour. Friends, uh, we must always uh, remember the great souls. We must uh, always follow the teachings and preachings of the great leaders. That is our culture, that is our heritage. We have a great history. We should be feel we should feel proud of our country that we have a heritage of 5,000 years, and then we have a, a heritage where we respect uh, our uh, gurus, we respect our elders, 
we respect our culture, we respect our heritage, we always feel proud of our culture because of the speedy invasion of the western culture across the globe. That is a very disturbing trend, disturbing trend. We should go back to our roots, think about our country, think about our heritage. Adi kaal se, Veda kaal se, Punya kaal se, Purana kaal se, jo poro jo ne, amara poro jo ne jo jiya aur hamko diya, wo virasat ko aage badane ke liye ham sab log prayas karna chahiye. Aur isi sandarbh mein Dr. Sam Prasad Mukherjee ka jivan ke jivan ke baare mein amara new 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 pidi ko, younger generation ko, jaise maine kaha, unko bhi avgat karana chahiye aur samaj mein jagrut paida karne ke liye prayas karna chahiye.